heart that hurts I want to spend my life Mending broken people I want to spend my life Mending broken people Hello, happy Sabbath, and welcome to 3ABN's Family Worship. You know, I believe we're going to have a wonderful evening here together. Yeah. We're going to be talking about working out your own salvation. Now, before you change the channels, uh, hold on a minute, uh, because I truly believe once we begin to unpack this, mm -hmm. you are going to receive a blessing we yeah. have already, and I would just pray that the Holy Spirit yeah. will for you as well. You know, this subject, what you're thinking about, is one that, as a young person, Mm -hmm. I really had some questions. Mm -hmm. Still do. Sure. Haven't learned yeah. everything, but I really did because this seemed to go against the grain of Scripture, mm -hmm. working out my own salvation. Mm -hmm. Like, how can this be done? So we pray tonight. You know, it's going to be answered through Scripture. Clarity. So, yeah, clarity. I believe Amen. it will. I truly do. And before we get any further, I think we need to tell everybody at home who we are. Oh. I'm Chris Shelton, and I'm with my husband. And Thank what is your name, husband? Well, it was Kenny. Pastor yeah. Kenny yeah. Shelton. <laughs> Pastor <laughs> Kenny Shelton. And to our yeah. right, mm. you know, once in a while I slip out the word Timmy, mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and it's my it. my sister-in-law's done that to me, yes, but it kind right. of fits. Tim Parton, mm -hmm. what a wonderful, and I just love it that he's here today because he's yeah. going to lead us in music in a few <laughs> minutes. Oh, yeah. But you know, Tim, I was thinking this week, because we had such a, a wonderful week together last yes. week, all of us, right. and um, I was thinking, you know, years ago I used to watch you on TV. I never thought mm -hmm. one of these days we'd be friends. Well, mm -hmm. see, and I love it. That's wonderful. Know. Well, yeah. it's a privilege for me to be mm -hmm. here. I appreciate you, even if it's just for my musical skills. Oh, no, no. no. I want more. We I want know. more. I know. No, uh, yeah. there is some depth to me. I yeah. promise. There, I there is. But there it, is. I hope. We'll see. Yeah. But anyway, you it's always know. a privilege to be with you. And thank you for your friendship. Mm -hmm. More than Absolutely. anything, oh, thank you yeah. for your insight into the Word of yeah. God. Yeah. So I look forward to the sharing together. We, we just love doing the, the, the musical program with you because you were so. I mean, you were getting up there singing the, the in the quartet, whatever, and you was back here <laughs> telling, directing, yeah, the choir. directing us and singing. Yeah, well, he, he can do all kind of things yeah. all at once. God's giving them that kind of a gift. But, but you know what? It's a blessing. I couldn't mow a straight line in my yard, <laughs> and I know how to change the oil on my car. Yeah. So see, I can do that. I got one I thing I know how to All do. All you have to do, Brother <laughs> Tim, is come over. We'll help. We'll teach you okay. those things. Okay. Okay. A lot of lawns to do. Oh, I'm yes, afraid. Yeah. Know. Once I get you know. started, you, yeah, I see that coming. They call me back. Hey, maybe he'll teach us how to play and sing better. Right. That, yeah. that yeah. would be yeah. a good trade-off. And to my left, Tim's been with us before in family worship. And to my left, we have two people that haven't been. Sister Janelle and Brother Don Owen. And you guys are a couple, right? Yes, we are. Uh, All yes. right. I, 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 yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. Oh, that was a stutter. No, we know that wasn't a stutter. We are. <laughs> but tell us, Don, what do you do? I know you do a lot of things for Jesus, so share some of the oh, good mm. things that you do. Well, it's just been privileged, you know. Um, just recently went to a pastoral department back in November. Um, that's been a huge blessing. Mm -hmm. um, God is definitely chiseling me and shaping yeah. me and getting me fitted up for a, a, a position. Um, um, that he has set for me, but also um, we work together doing addiction recovery in the community. Mm -hmm. um, just saw a need, a great need in this community. Mm. There's a lot of hurting people. Yes. As the song said, mending broken people. Amen. So we want to mend broken people. And the Lord opened the door in January of this year to go into men's prison. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, just last uh, just uh, last night, I had several men um, that have been doing addiction recovery with, and they are beginning to see that God does value them mm. as Amen. a son of God, and that, I think that's been key. So, yeah, um, a lot of stuff we do, we meet with other couples. I'm actually a Bible worker for Thompsonville as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're everywhere. And, and, and you've been to our church to yes. preach a couple of times, mm -hmm. yeah. and and I love it because you're a hands-on person, and you mm -hmm. get out there, and you, you, you open doors before we realize there's a door to open. And mm. I love it. Well, so. the Holy Spirit's the one that does. <laughs> That's right. I can't yeah. do anything. I'm, as I like Jesus said in Psalm 22, He said, I'm a worm and I am no man. So yeah. yes. I am a worm and I am no man. So yes. praise the Lord for that. And Janelle, she's been a wonderful um, help to me. She's been a, we've been a blessing growing in each other, growing with each other oh, in Christ. Yes. And boy, if it wasn't for Him, uh, I don't know where our marriage really would be. No. Seriously. Learning more about each other. <laughs> 
mm -hmm. through marriage, like learning more about ourselves through our marriage. And it's That's true. Interesting yeah. how that works. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and uh, you'll never stop learning. No, it doesn't end. It's it, an adventure. It, it's an adventure. It it's a work of a lifetime. Yes, it is. So, Sister Janelle, what do you do here at 3ABN? I work in the publishing department. Mm -hmm. I know you've helped us with a lot of different oh, yeah. advertisements and pictures and things, and you do a lot of graphic work, don't you? Yes, it's uh, it's print, uh, web, social media. Um, our department does all of that kind of stuff. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. So, um, I, I wish I could steal all of you guys, <laughs> but, <it takes laughs> but I'm glad to be a part. I'm glad it's to be a part. A body, it right, is exactly. a body, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And we, as I mentioned earlier, we're so blessed that Tim is here because <laughs> Tim's going to lead us in a medley. I called it a melody a while ago, and he said, no, it's a medley, <laughs> and it is entitled, I Have Decided to Follow Jesus. Are we going to pray first, or you want to uh, uh, give me a chance to get over <clears> the piano while we're well, praying? Well, sure, we'll do that. We'll do yes. that. Go ahead. Good thought. Yes. Go ahead, right ahead. All right, we'll right. pray. Yes. Our kind, loving Heavenly Father, we thank you again for another Sabbath. We thank you for your love, your mercy. We thank you for getting us through another week. Now we pray as we uh, break the bread of life together, your Holy Spirit will lead, guide, and direct in each of our hearts and each of our lives. Lord, there are many out there who are watching, maybe listening, that they've had a heavy week, and we ask now that uh, as we come before Thee, that You will strengthen and encourage them to realize there's uh, brighter days ahead. Especially if we get into the Word of God, as we get into it tonight and study this most wonderful subject of working out your own salvation, we pray your Holy Spirit will lead, guide, and direct and open hearts and minds that we may understand the subject well. Thank you for hearing. Thank you for answering prayer. And we ask a blessing upon all of our viewers, which we're very grateful and thankful for. Now, may we each be filled with thy spirit. May we just have a good beginning of the Sabbath together Amen. Amen. studying the Word of God in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs> That song. You yeah. know, really, that, mm. that fits so mm. well with tonight's lesson yes. because there at the end, we'll go with him all mm. the way. Mm. And that's Amen. part of working out that's our own part. salvation. Oh. Yes. Now, that title, that title was not just made up, it came mm. from a Bible passage. Mm. And, Brother Don, I'm going to ask if you would read Philippians 12 and 13. Philippians 2, 2 12, 12 and 13. 13. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um, you got your Bibles? Okay, you're open. Mm -hmm. It says, Therefore, my beloved, this is out of the New King James Version, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation mm -hmm. with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you both to will and to do for his good mm -hmm. pleasure. Amen. Okay, there's a lot just even in that verse. Oh, mm -hmm. Even though it does say, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, God doesn't leave us Amen. there. Then next mm -hmm. sentence, right. 
for it is mm. God which worketh in you to both mm. will and to do <laughs> his good pleasure. So we're going to unpack that yeah. here tonight. Mm. And if you don't mind, I'm just going to read maybe a couple sentences here and then we'll just mm. throw it to everybody else, okay? It says, there are many who give no decided evidence that they are true to their baptismal vows. Oh. Now, if I asked mm. you what your baptismal <laughs> vows were, I don't know if we could remember all of yeah. them. You might remember yeah. part of them, mm. but I think that's kind of a heavy statement because we really did take a vow. We were talking mm -hmm. about marriage earlier. Yeah. You covenant. took a vow. It's a covenant. Their zeal is chilled. Now, I, I had to highlight this. Well. There, we could talk the whole rest of the time on this one <laughs> sentence. Yes. Well. Their zeal is chilled, chilled by formality, worldly ambition, <laughs> pride, and love of self. Maybe oh, we should yeah. just stop Ouch. right well, there. Man. Yeah. Formality. Yeah. Chilled by formality. Have you ever been in a church where that's what formal exactly. is. There's nothing going on. And it's just formal. You're just repetition because that's what we're supposed to be doing. You know, so I, I go into a church and, I, and I'm not trying to knock anything, but when I see somebody just like just listlessly reading the Word of God, I'm thinking, this is the Word of God. It's living. Right. Then you should yes. have life when you read it. And mm -hmm. you go in there, people are just reading, you, just, uh, you start falling asleep. It's like, there's no <laughs> oh. life. I'm like, where's the life? Well, hopefully yes. we're going to get into where the life is mm -hmm. tonight. And we're going to yeah. talk about that because we don't want to just present, work out your own salvation without saying how we're to do that. Yeah, yes. exactly. And God does not leave us alone. He mm -hmm. equips us. He gives us a whole armor. Mm -hmm. He is always there. And we, but we just need to know how to but tap when in. You, when you're talking, when you say formality, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. isn't that just something that maybe you you're just kind of do over mm -hmm. yeah, and over mm -hmm. and yeah. over? You know, sometimes we have that tendency to do it. You know, we've got our little list and we just over and over and over until it really doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll use uh, uh, communion service, just an example. You know, I, I, I believe in scripture. It doesn't say how often as far as numbers. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, do it as, as often as you do it, do it in remembrance of me until mm -hmm. what? I come. Until I come again. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of up to the individuals. Now to me, mm -hmm. now some churches do it and, and not trying to criticize or condemn it may be all right. Mm -hmm. If we had communion service every week, it just, for me, it might just lose a little of that significance mm -hmm. and that power. Mm -hmm. That's my own mind, my own thinking. Mm -hmm. Doesn't necessarily mean that for, for everybody. What I'm hearing you say is that there's a season for <clears throat> everything. Yes. There's always a season. Mm -hmm. There's always a time and yes. a place for special. things. Yeah. And we, yeah. a, a formality is almost like they talk about a rut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make sure we don't yeah. get in that rut because we lose the spiritualness, mm -hmm. the excitement, you know, mm -hmm. the dynamics of what we come together for. You know for. what? There are times when I eat yeah. just because it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner time. Yes. Mm. I have thought, you know, what would it be like if you were really hungry when you yeah. ate? Mm -hmm. um, and so I will often like maybe wait a couple of hours after, which, you know, makes, winds it up like in the middle of the afternoon when I'm eating lunch mm -hmm. and that knocks dinner either off the, off the day's schedule or, you know, in the middle of the night I'll wake up and they, oh, it's dinner time. <laughs> but, <laughs> but when you, when you hunger for it, yeah. That's whenever you, I think, you get to sense more. So I think, in formality wise, we all that's that's the way we are. If we if yeah. we will, if we will truly hunger and thirst after righteousness, okay. We'll yeah. oh, and yeah. that's yeah. such a good yeah. analogy. But you you probably <laughs> will overeat as yeah. well. well. But when we're talking about scripture, you know, you will people that are hungering and thirsting, they're going to spend more time overeating, as it were, in the Word of God. That's right. mm. And I think a lot of the formality comes because during the week we've left God aside. Ooh. He's a weekend God to many people. Oh, awesome. And so it's just, we're going through the motions. We don't have that living connection. Mm -hmm. We've got to learn to get plugged in. Yeah, the yeah. next one is worldly ambition, guys. Mm -hmm. What do you think yeah. about that? Oh boy. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. no. no, the next, Rolly the Rolly next two words. Oh, the second, yeah. the second, ones, we've yeah. only got to the oh. second line. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is this is a Maybe. very oh. meaty. Um, devotion. It truly, I think truly. The worldly is. ambition is, you know, you want the praise and the glory and the honor. You want it. You want adoration. Mm -hmm. You want praise. You you're seeking after those things, like you were mentioning. Um, blessed are they, you know that, you know. Our hunger and thirst. Mm, right. It goes along with Matthew mm -hmm. six thirty three. So seek ye first right. mm -hmm. the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Mm -hmm. Then all things shall be added unto you. While we're running right into the world mm -hmm. to get what the world's getting. Mm. Well, and the, you know, I think the the love of self just kind of summarizes all of those. Right. You know, um, because really the formality is 
like a works type thing and you're, you know, you're relying on yourself and that's kind of what we tend to fall into and it's all just kind of wrapped up in self, like all of those words, formality, worldly ambition, pride, love of self, that mm -hmm. just, mm. to me, encompasses all of that. I agree, yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, does that, does that, uh, uh, where it talks about, uh, you know, love for, you know, God and then you have the love for the world you can't serve God and mammon. How mm -hmm. does that, how does that fit in? In other words, the, the, the love of the world. Can we really have the love of the world, the ambition mm. of the world, and still have a spiritual insight mm. and do what we need to do in the cause of Christ? Or do we have to let go of one or the Double other? Double-minded. Well, and the Bible also says, pride cometh before a fall. Mm. So all of these things play a part. And even those of us who are seeking the kingdom of God many times because, you know, we're to occupy until he comes. Sure. And you yeah. get busy <laughs> in, in worldly things, not, not necessarily worldly things. I'm thinking ambition Bad. to do your work, basically. Mm. And sometimes the work seems to take priority, but it shouldn't. You know, with us, we have we have a lot of other things that we take care of. We wear many hats, as the, as many of you do, but when it comes to God, we put those. Okay, hats so it doesn't aside. have to, it doesn't have to be anything bad then. Yeah, right. Other time, doesn't have to be anything bad, but it's something that maybe it will absorb. I think that's why our this, attention. That's what the great thing about this verse says: to work out, work at. Mm -hmm. Work through Come on. your salvation, mm -hmm. yes, and mm -hmm. realizing in verse thirteen that it's God mm -hmm. who is all the while effectually working in you yeah. to do good, to do His will, mm -hmm. and so it's a, it's a matter of even though we are in the world, we don't have to be of the world, right? Yeah. Uh, and so we are able to um, keep in mind all these things that uh, you know we're easily persuaded to be if we get get our eyes off of Jesus. Mm -hmm. But once we make the vow to decide to follow Jesus. Amen. Um, then he gives us the ability to work, and and this is going to get good, gooder and gooder as we, as we <laughs> break out what this workout uh -huh. means. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. yeah. In the in the um, maybe Don might talk about it too. In the in the Greek, mm -hmm. it it really instead of said work out yourself. It's like we're getting there. We're going to work it out. Oh yeah. It's it's, mm -hmm. it's it says to bring to completion. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are to bring to completion. We're we're part of the process mm -hmm. of bring it to completion with Christ and us and making a decision. Mm -hmm. If I could add to that, actually I found a really good translation because I've always kind of wondered um, fear and trembling. That oh, to yeah. me always just popped out. You know, I'm like, what does that mean? What does that include? Um, and this is Amplified Classic version. Um, it actually goes into more depth of what you're saying, Kenny. It says to work out, the work out part, it says to cultivate, carry out the goal and fully complete. Mm -hmm. And then the um, the fear and trembling, it says self-distrust with serious caution, tenderness of conscience, mm. watchfulness against temptation, timidly shrinking from whatever might offend God and discredit the name of Christ. Wow. Name. Yeah. Isn't that that's good? That's good. That's good. That it covers, good. Yeah. It just covers yeah. all of it, the fear it and trembling. It does. That's beautiful. That was good, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can do one more sentence, shall we? Well. <laughs> it says, those who experience the work of true conversion, which we've been hitting on that during our talk so far, in their hearts will reveal the fruits of the Spirit in their lives. And I mm -hmm. thought it might be good for all of us to review what are the fruits of the Spirit. You know, the Bible says, by your fruit you shall know yeah. them. So we can look at Galatians, Galatians 5, 5 22, 22 and 23. And 23. Let's, yeah. yeah, let's look at that. Now, when we look at these things, somebody's looking at them and be reading them. I read this as Spirit of Prophecy. I can't, I can't help bring it up every time somebody says, go the fruits. Mm -hmm. And I look at all those fruits. And as I looked over every one of those fruits, I, I sense in my own spirit, I failed on every one of them. Mm. Mm. I look at it and I say, I come up short of the, of the real meaning of these words. And then as study it a little bit more, uh, Sister White said on there, if we lack one of the fruits of the spirit, oh, heaven will not be our home. Mm. Well, that just really got to me then because not just one of them, but I, I, I lacked in all of them. Mm. Not intentionally, not just, oh, I'm trying to profess to be this or that. But I looked at these fruits and if you really get down to the depth of what the Bible mm -hmm. defines and Christ's life, what he lived, mm -hmm. I missed the mark. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, Lord, help me to learn these mm -hmm. fruits of the Spirit. Help me to love it because I can't afford to have not one right. missing. 
That's right. mm -hmm. when, you have, mm -hmm. when you have Christ sitting on the throne of your heart, you won't have one missing. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. When you have Christ sitting on yeah. the throne of your heart, that's where it is. And that's what we're talking about tonight. That's what we're trying yeah. to, to unpackage <laughs> of how we can and, have And there's the people, though, that say what, yes. what Brother Don just said. Mm -hmm. Well, he is Lord of my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is that. And then, oh, man, I lost my patience. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're, mm -hmm. you know. But you're see, in that Paul scenario. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's in that part yeah. that you have to look at and say, you know, do what, what I what don't do want to do. do. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right. yeah. But that's the th this cool thing that this has been translated to work out from what you said. Yeah. It really didn't have right. it so much to do with working out yeah. from what you said the Greek was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But to completion. Yes. But work out, even though it does, yeah. it does in a, in a long way. Sure. But for for us, in, in I don't know how long this has been translated this mm -hmm. way, but work out indicates there is an effort on our part mm, amen. Mm. And, and a Good. process. Good. There is. So it's not there, so now, much yeah. just a having arrived, you know, I would love to be able to go out and bench press 500 pounds uh, <laughs> yeah. the first nice. time um, or like a millionth time even, but I've, I, won't know, I won't even know about the millionth time because I've, I can't get through the first time, so I say <laughs> fully on that. Yeah. So, but for the fact that we have the privilege, God is so yeah. patient yes. and loving and it is a process, mm -hmm. it's a journey, mm -hmm. just yeah. like your marriage. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, the, it's the adventure right. yeah. of going through all these, getting there, yes. arriving, Amen. and I haven't yet arrived, but I'm on my way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was say the yes. word in this, the scripture says own. Mm. That means you have ownership. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh -huh. You have to have ownership. What you just said, you own it. That's mm -hmm. yours. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Yeah, you Good. Come to com completion is what yeah. we're looking at here. You own it. Uh, so I didn't mean to get off of the fruit no. of oh, the no. spirit, though. It's but, all no, because it, it brings to my mind. You talk about Jesus was talking about, he said, first the blade, then the ear, mm -hmm. and then the full corn. Mm -hmm. the completion is way up here. You know, what stage is this in when awesome. it first comes up? Right. In that stage is perfection. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Right? Even we, we're, ju we're just popping through the soil. Right. You can't look and say, oh, it's not the ear of corn. It's perfect in that stage that, that it's right. in for what a person mm -hmm. knows. And I think good. that's awesome. Yeah. That is See, awesome. I'm not, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not where maybe you're at. I'm not where somebody else is at. Mm -hmm. But I just need to be where I'm at with yeah. God in my relationship mm -hmm. and what I understand is, right. is truth and right. Just Perfect. true conversion, mm -hmm. you know, that speaks to me because just like Peter, you know, Peter goes, I will never leave you, Lord. I'm not going to, I'll follow you wherever. He's oh, like, ah, oh, once the cock crows three times, you're yes. going to deny me. How many of us have done that mm -hmm. and denied him? Um, mm -hmm. But true conversion is when you see, like Christ said, you know, I'm always about my father's business. And mm -hmm. what did he go to do? He went to seek and save the lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that our mission? Is that our own personal mission, each one of us, to seek mm. and save those around us who are perishing for wanting knowledge of Jesus? Good. So very, very true. And, that, and this all That's, plays a part of it because as the Lord continues to bring these things to us, part of this is through spirit of prophecy, part of it through mm -hmm. the Bible. Then when we see, as Pastor Kenny brought you know, so vividly to our minds that we fall short. Oh. Okay, then we take that to the Lord and yes. allow the great physician Amen. to do an operation. Mm -hmm. But let's yes. go back for those. There may be some of you who've never even heard. That's, that's You're thinking, what in the world are the fruits, fruits of the Spirit? Yeah. No. What do you mean not we have by the, yeah. <laughs> we will yeah. know not them by their fruits? That's right. We do not believe in we can work our way into heaven. No. So we want to yeah. make sure just get that clear, and then we want to go back and discuss more and more. But people keep saying, you know, a lot of times Advent's different. You do things. You're working your way. Way. Salvation mm -hmm. is not by works. No. I don't care if you work 24 7. Works is not going to make up for the sacrifice that was made on Calvary's cross. Amen. First John 4 19 says, We love him because he first, first loved, loved us. us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's okay, kids. Doing. Romans 3 <laughs> talks like, about going right into the Bible, right? It's like saved by faith. Away. Right? She's wanting by to grace through faith. It's yes. a gift. I'm sorry, honey. We're going somewhere else. <laughs> well, I, I, I promise, I promise You've got to let us study, baby. I you promised study. them that I was going to read this. I don't care if someone else reads okay. it, but we, we're going to read this for you. It's Galatians ahead, 5, honey. if you have your Bibles out. You Galatians 5, verses 22 and 23. <laughs> right. But I'm going to start before they interrupt me again. Go ahead, but the honey. fruit of the Spirit is love, oh, there you go. joy, mm. peace, yeah. Long suffering, suffering, gentleness, gentleness goodness, goodness, faith, evil. meekness, temperance against such, and I love this because this works so well with Galatians of mm -hmm. Paul's writings, against such there is no law. Mm -hmm. How different our world would be, how different mm -hmm. our marriages would be, oh, yeah. how yeah, different mercy. bringing up our children would be yeah. mm -hmm. if we would just well, first of all, be truly converted mm -hmm. because then God wants to impart all these fruits mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit into yes. our hearts and into our minds. So I think we probably talked 
about it before we told you what it was. Yeah, well, that's the way to do it. That was good. interesting, too, like those verses, you know, leading up to verse 22, it tells you kind of like what the opposite of those things, the works of the flesh. Right. Oh, and he, yeah. he unpacks and tells us, you know, mm -hmm. um, what our tendencies are. Yes. But we don't have to have those tendencies. That's true. And, that's right. You know, because it's kind of like mm -hmm. a but on verse 22, but uh -huh. the fruit of the Spirit, you know, and it was all those things that you read. Um, the, you know, like verse 19, it says the works of the flesh. And, mm. we, you know, when we're in the flesh, we're going to have all those other, you know, bad things, bad tendencies. Um, but if we're filled with the Spirit, then we'll have all those things that, that mm -hmm. you read. And I think that's the beautiful thing is He doesn't leave us to guess, you know, what the works of the flesh are. He just, you know, He names out what those things are. And... I truly think people become discouraged many mm -hmm. times because they read that and they think, oh, but that's where I am. Mm -hmm. This is the type of thing. I don't have these kind of fruits in my, that's not part of my mind. It's not part of my heart. But the beautiful thing, working out our own salvation, a big part of that, even though we're not to that point yet, is submitting our will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Submitting our will and saying, God, help me. Mm -hmm. yeah. God, I, you know, he wants <clears throat> to give new life to us. He wants to recreate his image within us. Yeah. But we have to, he doesn't have the right because the enemy, remember, the enemy has controlled this world. Oh, he Lord. has a right once we reach out and say, Lord, mm -hmm. help me. Amen. Yeah, you know Lord, I go want ahead, this. No, Lord, you give first. me. Because you'll say something spiritual. Oh. Because <laughs> I'll probably claim it. Well, I was just we'll going to say, when, when I take a look around and I realize people, um, this is coming from what we've been doing, addiction recovery, mm -hmm. being in prison. Uh, people don't realize their value. Yeah. True. That's the key. They don't really realize their value in God. Oh, yeah. oh, and when they wow. begin to realize their value in God, then true conversion will take hey. place. Mm -hmm. When you realize that you are a son or a daughter of God, Ooh. that's when mm -hmm. true conversion to me takes place. It took me 40 some years to learn that. Yeah. I'm still learning it, but I'm understanding more and more, especially when you get in these prisons, you see these men like uh, asking them, you know, do you love yourself? I ask them the two greatest commands are these, love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and seconds like unto it, love your neighbors, you love yourself. First, you have to love yourself mm -hmm. before you can love your neighbor. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, I said, do you love yourself? I didn't really love myself. So how can you have true conversion if you don't even know how to love yourself? Did, did it, was it when you f found out the, how, how valuable you are to heaven? Mm -hmm. In other words, who gave his life for you? That's right. King yeah, of kings nice and touch. Lord of lords right there. So I can never go around, regardless of how bad things might be, mm -hmm. say, nobody loves me. Now, I know a lot of you said that, bless your heart, and you, because you didn't maybe know. But I know all of heaven loves them. Amen. I know yeah. all of heaven does. And you are so valuable yes. that Jesus mm -hmm. gave his life. He came down here with the risk of not going back. That's right. I can't bear people to preach something different than that. I just get mm -hmm. all riled up, just to be honest. Because he's my example. Yes. Yeah. You know, Amen. and what, what, what would it have been? Well, he's guaranteed he's come down and guaranteed he's going right back. You know, he's going to make it anyway. No, with the risk of losing, never going back mm -hmm. to heaven. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Awesome thought. So Amen. you are valuable. Mm. Yes, I think amen. it's beautiful. Thank I've heard somebody say sometimes salvation is not of works, but it has to be worked out. Mm. Mm. That's what we're Interesting talking about. Interesting thought. Yes. 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 Just, but it has to be worked out. Mm. There's <laughs> something that has to be done on our part, even mm. though Christ has done it all. Yes. Mm. Right. He's done it all. So don't anybody get confused here, mm -hmm. but there's, you know, sometimes we go, sometimes we have to say yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, exactly. You know, something simple. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Amen. We're going to start in on another one. Oh, let's start in on another. Let's okay, read honey, a little bit ahead. more from Spirit right. of Prophecy. It's, right. It reads, Oh, that those who have so little spiritual life would realize. Oh, oh boy, when I just read that part, I thought of those I love that yes. would realize that eternal life can be granted. And I had to highlight this word oh, only man. to those who become who become partakers of the divine nature. I mentioned mm -hmm. a few minutes ago, mm -hmm. he wants to recreate mm -hmm. in us his divine nature mm -hmm. and escape the corruption that is in the world through lust. This is a big, that it, it, it's so Man. panoramic when you break down, when you begin to unpackage even that one sentence, because we know that the enemy is out to kill, steal, and destroy. Mm -hmm. He's working sorcery throughout the land, throughout the whole world. Mm -hmm. And, to, you know, he, he'll give you so much truth, but he'll put in just enough a little, air. A little poison. Mm -hmm. To keep you from following Christ mm -hmm. the way that we should. 
yeah. to keep us because mm -hmm. we're to, to worship God in spirit and in truth. Amen. Oh, amen. He's definitely a spirit. He wants your <laughs> worship, mm -hmm. but it's not always in truth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So what do you guys think about that? Well, wow. What is our dependence? You know, I've looked at it. My dependence for salvation is on His merits. Mm, amen. It has to be on amen. His strength, on His mm -hmm. power, on His victory, because I have nothing myself, because all have sinned and fallen right? short, sure. yeah. all in short right? right? We're in the death penalty so that we have nothing which is good to give. But we, we have to live a life uh, that's, I want to say, operated and constructed and operated by the Holy Spirit of God. Hmm. You know, and live out the principle by the grace of God, live hmm. out the principles of, of, of Scripture here. Live a life that's consistent mm -hmm. with, yeah. with Scripture right here, principle of heaven. Talking you know, about character building. Yeah, I uh, like character that word. building, Romans 3. Yeah, go ahead. That word partakers. Oh, you're hitting, get out of my head. Oh, partakers. Right. <laughs> <Rosie mentioned. laughs> kind of like you're one or something. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah, that happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, that that's a great word, though, is partakers. And how do we partake? How do yes. we partake of the divine nature? See, mm -hmm. part of this, this is what this lesson is so wonderful because we're going to find out that there's power in the Word of God. Mm -hmm. There is power in claiming those promises. Mm -hmm. And the only way that we can become partakers is by submitting our will to, to God. But it doesn't stop there. He wants us to learn. We are responsible for what we have time to soak in, to learn, to, mm -hmm. to drink up of God's Word. You mentioned eating, to overeat of that Word many mm -hmm. times because we're hungering and mm -hmm. thirsting for for righteousness. We want those fruits of the Spirit. Yeah. Wonderful promises. I wrote a couple here. One, 1 Peter, listen to this. 1 Peter 1, 23. Mm -hmm. It reads, being born again. Ooh. See, God wants us to be, be born, born again. again. We, yeah. He knows we're as yeah. filthy rags. We've made mistakes. He said, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, incorruptible. Like by that. the Word Ooh. of God, which liveth and bideth forever. Mm -hmm. So when we claim that word, there's, there's power in Amen. his word. Yes. Many times when we're praying for those who are sick, that's kind of a touchy one. It, you know, for different ones that are sick or, or have oh, different right. problems, we need to come back to God's word and claim those promises mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. um, I mentioned a long time ago when we were going to move to Thompsonville from Vienna oh, and I had been mercy. laying there for oh, two mercy. hours crying and thinking, oh, you know, Pastor Kenny and his brother Danny, this is just one of their little concoctions. <laughs> Close your ears. <laughs> We'd been there for a long, long time. Oh, I didn't mind to travel, didn't mind to go. I just like to always come back home. <laughs> and um, I laid there and I, I, had, I didn't have a peace. I didn't have a peace. And I, I remember telling God, God, you, you talk to us through your word. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Would you mm -hmm. please speak to me yeah. this morning from your word? Mm -hmm. The first passage I opened up. Come on. Part of it read, and in the land that thou goest to possess, I will bless thee. Ooh, it's all it needed. Start shouting, right. It didn't matter. Start packing it the boxes. Didn't matter. Start the boxes, Paul. We're no, moving. We're moving. We're moving. <laughs> so you see what I'm is. saying? My, my will, that's part of this. My will had to die. Mm -hmm. yes. My will, it was no longer. It was not my will, but thy will be done. Yes, all and so once he gave me that promise, I thought, I'm going. Boy, I'm yeah. going. This is sweet. Amen. You know, in our, in our recovery group, we you hit on it. I was just going to share that. Step three says we made a decision mm -hmm. Go on. to turn, turn our wills and lives over to the care of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what we share. And, you know, we've made that decision. Have you made that decision, you know, to mm -hmm. really say, like you're saying, you got to submit. That's that yeah. vow. Yeah, exactly. Right. You make a decision cool. mm -hmm. and turn it over. So are you going to turn your will and life over to his care? Yeah. He, he knows the beginning from the end. Do you trust him? Mm -hmm. You know, I talk about people like if you were to somebody who's blindfold and you say, lean backwards, I'll catch you. Would you believe he'd catch you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even, even somebody that you somewhat trust, <laughs> may be a brother, he may be somebody and say, just come on. You've been there. Sometimes we've been oh, fooled yeah. a little bit. Uh -huh. you know? yeah. But I like that. We're talking about, you know, keeping the, the promises, you know, a covenant, mm -hmm. we make it with God agreement. Yeah. You know, the Bible says it's better not to make one right. than to make it and then break it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, because things That's really true. go. But you, mm -hmm. you got me going on because I know I, I marked something down here because it says partakers of divine nature. Oh. You said, and it said, mm -hmm. is this possible? Mm. A little article in Review and Herald uh, 6, page 32 says this. Just read it because that, that just, that's what people are asking. Is it really possible? 
divine nature. Right. Do we really need it? Oh, you right. know, without divine nature, we are in mm -hmm. trouble. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. We can operate oh, yeah. in the flesh. We have to have divine nature. Mm -hmm. But notice how, how is this possible? Is it? It says, of ourselves, we can do no good thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we agree on that. Mm -hmm. How then can we be partakers of divine nature? It's by coming to Jesus Christ just as we are. Are. Yeah. See, I like that. That's yeah. the first step. Sounds Come like to him just like we are. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, needy, helpless, mm -hmm. dependent. Amen. Like a little baby. Uh -huh. You can't feed yourself. You mm -hmm. can't change yourself. Mm -hmm. You can't wash yourself. You're in a mess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come to him like we are. Lord, That's I'm right. tell him. That's right. Lord, I'm in a mess. I'm in a big he knows. mess. Yeah. He, he knows. already knows <laughs> that. But doesn't that help right. us? Yes. Mm -hmm. To say we're in a mess. Notice what it says. <laughs> he died to make it possible for us to be partakers of his divine nature. Amen. He took upon himself mm. humanity that we might be, might uplift humanity mm. with the golden chains of his matchless love. He has bound us to the throne Ooh, of God. Wow. Yes. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are to have power to overcome as he overcame. Amen. 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 See the goosebumps They're jumping mm -hmm. out on me. <laughs> well, it's right an awesome there. thing it to is. think that a oh, Savior, yeah. the King of the universe, would care that much about yeah. a That's no right. good like me. That's it's right. okay to say that. We are no good. That's right. what the Bible says. That cares so much for me, he was willing to come down here. He took our human nature after 4,000 years. Mm -hmm. you see, he was down right with us, willing to go through whatever so that we could do it. We could bind up with Amen. him. We can make a contract with him that he's going to win and get victory. And I can mm. take that by faith, that victory in my heart right. and life and gain what I need for eternal salvation. I just think it's awesome yeah. we serve such yeah. a Savior. That mm -hmm. last part, that we oh, can have the same, same power, power to, to overcome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, I think they just think, oh, I'll pray for that power. It just automatically mm -hmm. comes. Oh. But how did God get, how did Christ on earth mm -hmm. get his power when he became human? Yeah. He Remember? At 13, he's in the temple. Right. What was he doing? Yeah. Expounding yeah. scriptures. Yes. Expounding yeah. scriptures. When the devil mm -hmm. tempted him mm -hmm. relentlessly after he had been fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, mm -hmm. what did he do? Mm -hmm. It is written. Mm -hmm. It is written. So it, the power comes back to what God has so wonderfully preserved for each and every mm -hmm. one of us. I want to give everybody one more wonderful promise that we can claim. Oh, huh. This one is 2 Peter 1 mm -hmm. and verse 4. 2 Peter 1 and verse yeah. 4. It reads, whereby are, giving, are given unto us exceeding great and precious. What kind of promises? Precious. Precious. Oh, precious. precious. They're great and they are precious, precious that by these ye may be partakers of, here we go, yeah. the divine mm -hmm. nature. nature. That's the key. Mm -hmm. right. These promises, the word of God, that we may be partakers, we that you may be partakers. We couldn't have that, honey. We, could we? Mm -mm. we? We couldn't have the divine nature unless he came down here, lived the victorious right. life, and died. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He died mm -hmm. so that you could have that, so that I could have mm -hmm. that. That's awesome. Amen. Yeah. And it goes, Isn't it? I mean, it's simple maybe, but it's still awesome when you put it and it goes back right here to yeah. going back. He died, so he preserved all of this for us, but yeah. we get it from the book that he gave us. Yeah. So these great and precious promises that we may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped, as you mentioned earlier, the corruption that is in the world through lust. That's the power. That's the power. That's getting to know him. That's how he speaks to us. Sure, there's times that he has spoken audibly. There's been times he's visited people. He visited John on the Isle of Patmos. You know, we know of other times he's visited people. Praise God that he left all of us his word. Mm. Mm. And that's why the enemy doesn't like mm. this word. He tries to change the word. He tries to make the word of none effect. Oh, he's dirty. I had, I had someone I was, I was working with many years ago and um, they were a Catholic and they had wanted to talk. They were beginning to read. They had read a, a Sunday law book. It was about the Sunday versus Sabbath. And they wanted to know if it was true. And they kept, they said, well, I want to talk to the priest. The priest here wouldn't talk to him. Finally went to a priest up in Belleville, Illinois. And the priest said, the Bible, it's a good book. Read it if you want to. Well, but honestly, do you really believe that God parted the Red Sea and people walked through on dry land? Wow. 
Do you honestly yeah. believe yeah. that he would tell Abraham to <clears throat> sacrifice yeah. his power. son? Yeah. Mm. He doesn't have any power. No. You see what he no. did? He mm. planted doubt. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Skepticism. Yeah. And I think it won out too. Mm. It did win it out. It won out. Man was wanting to hear it that way anyhow. Yeah. And that was all he needed. And that. I, I was just thinking about um, what you said, Kenny, about or what you read about the. Um, how Christ took our nature. Mm. And to me, that just makes him even more personal. Oh, yeah. mm. You know, when we can, he can relate to us. He's not just there and we're here. Amen. He can relate to us. He's been in our yes. flesh, in yes. the type, you know, yeah. the flesh like we have. And that is to me is just, you know, like sometimes when, you know, like when I was a kid, I always thought of, you know, Jesus as a baby and Jesus came as a baby, but he's been here all along. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. took our flesh, mm -hmm. did everything. You know, had the same temptations that we face. That's part. That's very personal to me. You know, so. when you're talking too about relying on the promises of God's words, and one of those stories that I share with people on prayer line, I've had people call up that are suicidal, oh. and I share with them Zechariah three, and I take them through the word picture, and I show them they have a part in that. And yeah. Satan, of course, is accusing us. You know, you're not worth. You're worthless. You're trash. You're junk. Oh. You're not worth getting into heaven. And and I say, there's somebody else. And there's a picture. And his name is the Angel of the Lord. But if you study it out, it's actually Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Jesus says, it's not this a brand plucked by the fire. And I said, yeah, I, when I hear that, what I hear him saying is, you see the snail pierced hand yes. here. Yeah. I hung a cross for this one. I bled and died for him. I purchased him with my blood. I own him now. You can't That's touch right. him anymore. Hey. And I share that with a young man. And Amen. this young man had a the lisp. Mm -hmm. He was doing many different moves just uh, but just how the Lord just changed his heart broken Praise down and literally was crying I mean literally was crying I share on the phones people crying when they mm -hmm. see that they have value like, like I'm mm -hmm. saying in Jesus when they yeah. find out Jesus is going to take that filthy right. garment off you Thank put his robe of righteousness mm -hmm. on you and put a crown on your head Ew. that's when and we find wow. all yes. this out through those great and precious <laughs> mm -hmm. precious yeah. promises Amen. Yeah. it's powerful mm -hmm. I mean Christ mm -hmm. our creator he was omniscient. He could be everywhere at once. We can we can barely even mm. fathom what that means. We have no idea. Mm. And I, I was just tearing up as Janelle was speaking because right. it brought it so close to home. I could see it in her heart. Mm -hmm. You know, that God, that Christ gave up all of that oh, to yeah. become one of us because he loved us so much. Mm -hmm. And he would have done it for just one mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. He would have done it for you. Amen. He would have done it for me. That's beautiful yeah. when you think about it. You know, because of the sacrifice that we've been talking about here, partakers of the divine nature, this is, I mean, this is bigger than maybe most of us, I can't comprehend, it's too big. Mm -hmm. Except I know that's one of the stepping stones for me. This is the power that He puts in me so that I can obey His requirements. Mm -hmm. The law of God. Mm -hmm. Why? No, I can't do it on my own, but mm -hmm. it's His nature. It's mm -hmm. Him living inside me. Think about it. That enables us to keep His law. It's mm -hmm. not me and you. I'm going to mess it all up. Mm -hmm. But see how important that nature mm -hmm. that He took and the nature that He imparts to us that we might gain the mm -hmm. victory. You know, I love to be a, a real muscular guy. I would love to be tall and uh, just, you know, I would love to be all that in a bag of chips, but <laughs> that doesn't look like I'm working too hard at it. And you know, one of the, my favorite things, I subscribe to this magazine called Men's Health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love to sit in a, of an evening in mm -hmm. my uh, recliner and eat ice cream and watch and then read through Men's Health. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh -oh. Oh, that ain't working so hot. <laughs> <now>. Okay, <laughs> well. So um, it's interesting how we have to um, apply the Word of God. Mm. You know, we've, we've got a book full of, of directions yeah. how to, to develop that divine nature. Mm. Mm. Amen. But if we've got that list that you mentioned before the fruit of the Spirit mm. that we are holding on to, yeah. right. oh. and um, we we got we to... Gotta, drop the bowl of ice cream and mm -hmm. get hit the floor, do push-ups and all those other things that I'm mm -hmm. so reluctant to do because it's hard. Yeah. It you know, hard. our nature, mm -hmm. our, our uh, sinful nature doesn't want that. But yeah. that's why, that's what makes so much more precious the gift of God mm -hmm. and, and His, the divine nature. It, yeah. it, it's something to cherish Amen. and to run with everything Amen. we can mm -hmm. ha have in us to yeah. um, become like So, I mean, this is, still, like this is what we're, 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 to we're talking about on, the, on this lesson is uh, many people, I want to be a Christian. Right. I want to be a Christian, but they're not willing mm -hmm. to follow the principles that God has set up in His Word. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I want to be muscular. Well, you need to have to eat right, and you got to do some push-ups. Well, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do that. You're never going to make it. 
I was just going to say Romans 12, 2. Mm -hmm. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. You may prove that what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. You know, we get stuck, like you're saying, you get stuck in a rut and you just keep going over the same thing. You don't think there's mm -hmm. anything better out there. You might see it, but you don't know how to grasp it. Mm -hmm. Until you can come to know Jesus as a personal Savior, I don't believe you'll get over that hump. You know, we talk about in recovery, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it says without God, you know, there is repeated no... Repeated failures. There's repeated mm -hmm. failures and... and uh, substitutions. And substitutions. Mm -hmm. It's like, without God, you're going to keep going at the same mm -hmm. old rut and you got to get out of the things of this world as you're mentioning ice cream and are eating ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of goes along with what Tim was saying Good. about the, uh, you know, the third paragraph. Uh, it says, man is allotted a part in this great struggle for everlasting life. He must respond to mm. the working of the Holy Spirit. It will require a struggle to break through the powers of darkness and the Spirit works in him to accomplish this. But man is no passive being to be saved in indolence. He is mm. called upon to strain every muscle and exercise every yes. faculty in the struggle for immortality. Mm -hmm. Yet it is God that supplies the efficiency. Amen, Isn't that beautiful? that's the wow. key, that's mm. the key. See, it's humanity and divinity mm. working together. Mm -hmm. We submit our wills, we cry out and say, Lord, help me. And the beautiful thing is, you know, mm. we many times you've heard the, the allegory about and the story that, that God, is, which He truly is, our potter and we are the clay. Mm -hmm. mm. But His ultimate goal is salvation. Amen. Mm -hmm. Is that we, we partake of the life that He so wants to give us. Mm. And so many times we go through these valleys. He allows these valleys. When you were talking about the ice cream, I thought, you know, with the problem with that temptation, many times He allows us to become sick. And when we become sick, we've got to make some changes mm -hmm. if we're going to become well again. Mm -hmm. And so He's working in us mm -hmm. to mold us and to make mm -hmm. us what He would want us to be. Mm -hmm. he, God, it is God that supplies the efficiency. He makes it efficient. Mm -hmm. Every Our submission, our reading, He makes it su efficient. Mm -hmm. It does the work that it's supposed yeah. to do within mm -hmm. us. You know, in that, in that uh, when you work out our own salvation in Philippians 2, 12 and 13 that Don read there, it's, for it is God which worketh. We already seen the work and we mm -hmm. talked about it. For it is, I love it because it is God which worketh mm -hmm. in you. Mm -hmm. That word, you can look it up, and it actually said, it is God who energizes wow. mm. you. Amen. See, it is Amen. God who energizes yeah. you, gives you the power. He puts forth the power. He's working inside of you mm. to achieve salvation. Right. He's putting forth that first effort, right? He's always drawing you. Uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 12, I think it's 6, and it says, and uh, we won't read that now, but people at home can do that in, in verse 11. It talks about this. I think it's beautiful. But all these worketh the one and self same spirit, dividing to every man several as he will. Those are things that God wants all of us to have. He's, he's wanting to give us gifts. He's wanting, he's telling, he's working in us. He's giving the gifts. He's drawing us to him. And we must accept that drawing. Mm -hmm. Here's where we may come in, in our closing moments. We've got to come in on, you know, somehow we have to accept. He's done it all. We, we've Amen. all given him credit for everything, Amen. right? We don't That's have right. a, Amen. We don't, I almost said we didn't have a prayer. I need to be careful about that. <laughs> That's you heard, all we got. The world it. says exactly. That's all we have to become is, like is him. a prayer to be like Him. <laughs> right. mm. But somehow along the line, since He's energizing, working us and giving His power, live the life, perfection, and offers to Him a free gift, salvation, somehow, you have to, I have to say, yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. So why, That's our part. Yes. That's our, our part. Why do we, um, the question in my mind is like, why do we use, what is the energy for? What is it to be used for? And that's why I want to read the second oh, paragraph. Okay. Come on. Religion is not merely an emotion of feeling, wow. It is a principle which is interwoven with all the daily duties and transactions of life. Well. Mm -hmm. The Lord gave me this. He said, if you're living it, you'll be giving it. Amen. Yeah. If you're living Amen. it, you'll be giving it. Nothing will be entertained, no business engaged in, which will prevent the accompaniment of this principle. To re retain pure and undefiled religion, it is necessary to be, uh-oh, workers mm -hmm. persevering in effort. We must do something ourselves. No one else can do our work. Thank you. Mm -hmm. None but ourselves can work out our salvation with wow. fear and trembling. This is the very work which the Lord has left us to do. Um, you know, that's the thing is when you're talking about this true conversion, if God has really come into your heart, wouldn't you want to see others brought to know mm -hmm. Jesus? Amen. Oh, amen. I mean, that's, to me, that's the true conversion. Again, if, God, if you know, God well, first loved about, us. It? That's mm -hmm. right. So we want to love Him. Yeah. And this persevering effort, our part, you know, number one, 
you just mentioned it's it's a principle. Mm -hmm. We just take that principle no matter what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And the hardest place I believe to live out those principles is in the home. Mm -hmm. Because oh, yes, you're closer sure. to your spouse, <laughs> your closest, it's real, yeah, it's it's got very a real, yeah, yeah. Very much. and you yeah. know, you don't <laughs> seem to have the same respect at home and so on and so forth. But whether it is an action or whether it is your reaction, mm. it's this principle. Mm -hmm. It is God living in us and through us that we need to we need to ask him for his help, mm. for his strength, for his guidance. And we will not get that. You mentioned, I'm going to go back to that food well, again. On. Mm. One thing we decided many years ago is you do not partake in our home. We do not partake of the physical food until we've had the spiritual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make that commitment. Mm -hmm. Make that decided effort. Start with five or 10 minutes, whatever it may be, and allow the Lord to grow that time of prayer, mm -hmm. grow that time of study, because that's the only way that we're mm -hmm. going to be able to have that principles living in our heart, the fruit of the Spirit. That's the only way when mm -hmm. someone comes in and says, uh, you know, why did you say that? Or, you know, you, you say something and, mm -hmm. and Janelle says, well, why are you arguing with me? You're like, I'm not arguing with you. I didn't mean to argue. <laughs> you know it's your saying? tone of voice. It's right, your tone right. of, well, I didn't mean it, you know. Yeah. But you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It can just happen. The mm -hmm. enemy wants to divide the family as right. never before, because mm -hmm. if he can divide the family, mm -hmm. many times he wins. Absolutely. So to to his kin, mm -hmm. I to wanted his to you know, really point that out. So religion is not merely an emotion or a mm -hmm. feeling. So many people yes. go by that mm -hmm. nowadays, yes. especially mm -hmm. uh, that feeling. You got to know what is the principle. I mean, what is the principle? If you you got to be able to distinguish because if you can see stuff, I don't want to get into too much, but just the people that, you know, like speaking in, in tongues and, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of stuff. It's emotional frenzy and there's mm -hmm. this supposed spirit, mm -hmm. but where's the true spirit? That's where I'm... The sad thing uh, with that, and we just had a... Uh, experience with somebody that just went into a church like that and it doesn't matter what the Bible says, it's the feeling. Mm -hmm. mm. There's a problem. Now that doesn't mean <clears throat> that as a Christian, mm. that doesn't mean that God is not going to envelop you with his spirit and you will not have feelings and emotions. You mm. will. Well, you will. Yeah. That's right. But they he need goosebumps. So there's exactly. feelings. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, those there is, need there to is. carry right. us through. <clears throat> you continue that. that. <laughs> those would have to, like say, principle, what right. you just said, I think it came out of your mouth. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. the, when we're, it's not emotion, it's not feeling, but we live by principle. Yeah. So as a guy said, it's a couple of days, you get up in a row and you think, man, you know, do I want to be a Christian or not? You know, yeah. if the people say, <laughs> it's, it's, no, you do because you sure. live by faith and you know it's all going to be worked out, but strive. To quickly mm -hmm. make a couple of points. The Bible says to strive. People mm -hmm. say, well, it doesn't make it. Near. Strive to enter into the what? Straight and to narrow. straighten narrow. Try mm -hmm. to, you, know, you do that in Luke uh, 13, 24. Strive. So that means you have to put forth an effort. People say it. Uh, uh, James 4 says, resist the devil and what? He'll going to flee from you. Um, Before that, it says submit to God. Right. Sub <laughs> submit right. to God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Uh, <laughs> Colossians 3 9 says, put off the old man. Yeah. This is just a point. A lot of verbs. There's, yeah. Yeah. there's yeah. a lot of working there's out. Action. Right. Yes. Working yes. out. True. Working out. You're going to strive. Amen. You're going to put off the old man. Yes. You're going to uh, resist the devil. Um, Hebrews you know, 12, 2 say, or 1 mm. says, let us run with patience. Mm -hmm. Run with patience. That before us. Yeah, uh, Matthew 24 <laughs> talks about uh, <laughs> uh, uh, enduring enduring to the end. Mm -hmm. Enduring to the end. That means mm -hmm. you've got to put forth effort until the very end. So this all comes together. That's simply saying, I have to do everything I can possibly do mm -hmm. by, you know, the grace of God. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, I have to make a decision. Um, right. I'll follow Jesus. Right. Mm. I made that decision. Right. That's a lifestyle choice. Mm -hmm. It's choice. Hey. It's like go. eating right yes. or working out or yes. following Christ Come on now. or selling whatever. You're yeah. following Christ is a decision and to ask him to it's come a, in yeah. and lifestyle. he begins to do the work That's our part. Yeah. through us. And we have to fight it. Like I say, we have to, I have choose. to fight, yeah. you know, choose yeah. when I go to yeah. the grocery store. Right. Choose when oh, we yeah. go this or that. You know, there's choices to make. Yes, and we have to make the best ones we know on principle, mm -hmm. not the taste buds. If there's taste buds, oh. I'd be in trouble. And the reason <laughs> principle, he just mentioned, you know, we have to make a choice oh. because we may not feel good that day. You know, I, I gave you the illustration of you guys starting a little argument in your home. It happens. Right. But it, it, right then you have a choice. How do mm -hmm. I respond? 
Yeah. How do yes. I react? Actually, mm -hmm. speaking of that, we had that this morning before we came here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Satan's yeah, we always trying. That. That's why I think this, this last paragraph is really important. But it was just the fact that, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm, Lord, I'm not choosing to focus on those negative things. Mm -hmm. You can look at the thorns and the thistles, yeah. but you got yeah. roses all around you. Amen. Yeah. And you want to see the thorns and the thistles, all you want to see is the negative, and that's where Satan mm -hmm. will keep you suppressed. And, yeah. You know, and I thought that, you know, this, I really appreciated mm -hmm. this devotional. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe we could tell everyone what we're reading from um, here so they could read it themselves. Sure. Um, is this the it, book here? That's the book. It's a devotional book. It's entitled Fear Not Little, Fear Flock, Not Little Flock on uh -huh. October 10th. Mm -hmm. And I, it really spoke to me a lot. Oh, so yes. I appreciate you guys mm -hmm. um, having this topic. But I wanted to read that last paragraph because I think yeah. that's really important. It says, A relentless and determined foe has prepared his wiles for every soul that is not braced for trial and mm -hmm. guarded by constant prayer oh, and living there faith. It is. Amen. We cannot individually or as a body secure ourselves from his constant assaults. Oh. But in the strength of Jesus, every temptation, every opposing influence, whether open or secret, may be successfully resisted. That's beautiful. Amen. It is. Amen. Powerful. Guarded by constant prayer and living yes. faith. Yes. Mm -hmm. Revelation 20. 21, 7 and, tw and verse 27, it says, He that overcometh, which is what we're talking about, the living faith. Mm -hmm. We have to have a living faith mm -hmm. to overcome because the enemy is out to kill, steal, and destroy in every fashion he possibly can. Oh, yeah. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. Mm -hmm. I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Mm -hmm. And there shall in no wise enter into anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie. God is truth. But mm -hmm. they but they which are written in the Lamb's oh, book like of life. That That's mm. where our name, if we overcome, we're, mm -hmm. we're in a warfare. Amen. This is a yes. great controversy. Amen. It yeah. truly is. And if the curtain be pulled back, we would be, we would truly be shaking in our bones. Oh, yes. Horrified, yeah. Horrified. And we each one Horrified. have to, you're talking about, each one of us must work out our own salvation and, well, word of with fear and trembling. Yes. So that, that stands here because it was Ezekiel that talked about 1420. Uh, what was it? Through, through Noah, though Noah and, and, and Daniel and, and Job, you know, where they were here on the earth. Bottom line is what? No one can do it for you. No. Mm. No Very substitute. Right. It's That's, not the preacher nor the mm. teacher, but it's me, oh Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, uh -huh. I was thinking, I was talking to Janelle this morning. I was saying, yes. you know, when you look in a book of life, you're not going to say, well, Donald made it through his father. So it won't uh -oh. say in the book of life. It's no, not going to say no Donald made it here Thank through his you. father, no. you know. Oh, yeah. wow. And you just hit on something about overcoming. Revelation 12, 11 says they overcame him being Satan mm -hmm. by the blood of the Lamb hey, and man. by the word of their testimony, loving yes. their lives even mm. unto, yeah, unto death. That's yeah. right. And the word of the testimony goes back to the scripture. Yeah. Amen. Pastor, should we have just a little closing Please prayers? pray for pray? everyone that's been studying with us, for all of us here. Amen. We want to be overcomers. Amen. We want to work together Amen. with heaven Amen. to be victorious. We want you at home to be sure and pray with us too. You know, we're having a study together here. We hope we, you know, by the grace of God, has reached in and touched somebody's Amen. life. Somebody's made a decision right now for Christ, and we're yes, going to thank Lord. Him for it right now yes. in the last 35, 40 seconds. Let's pray together, shall we? Heavenly Father, Truly has been a great joy and a privilege to study your Word of God together here today. We thank you for the clearness of the gospel. Amen. Thank you that you give us proper understanding of your Word through the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for those who have made that decision right now. I will follow Jesus. Mm -hmm. We've determined to do it. Jesus has paid the price on Calvary's cross, and we realize that victory is through Him. All victory is through Him. Bless now, we pray to this end. May we be ready to meet Jesus when He shall come in the clouds of glory. This is our prayer. This is our desire. Help us, O oh Lord, we pray. We thank you for every precious soul out there in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.